Hello again. If you don't remember who I am, I am Angstrom and I'm the sustainability coordinator here on campus. I'm here with a couple bits of information for you all. Uh, some in sustainability uh, on campus, some results from our the trash audit we did a few weeks ago, uh, and some information about water on campus to help us hopefully make some good decisions about reusable water bottles. So here are the student groups on campus that are related to sustainability. We have the Sustainability Board, which focuses on initiatives um, for advocating for different initiatives on campus. You might hear, might hear from them at various points throughout the year with updates or with information or uh, with calls for help. Uh, Lorax uh, is another student group and that group is an open club on campus uh, that focuses on education and discussion around sustainability issues. So you will be hearing from them frequently. Uh, the Garden Club is another club on campus that is actually here to help maintain the Milton Academy Community Garden. Um, if you haven't been there, you should check it out. There's a few different locations on campus. Uh, one behind the behind Pritzker and right near the junior building. Um, if you go in that area, please make sure you're wearing your mask. There are often um, lower school students in that area um, doing various um, chores or uh, exploring various elements of the garden. So please make sure you wear your mask to protect them um, as they cannot be vaccinated yet. Uh, there's also some space between the AMC and Kellner that has some raised beds. And there are some more raised beds um, right near the squash courts that are kind of in a hidden little area. So check it out. Uh, there's also the ISSC, the in Independent Schools Sustainability Committee that's an interscholastic student group and Gaia, uh, which is the interscholastic publication. So you will hear from them. I think you have actually recently last week heard from them um, in, with a call for submissions. Uh, so if you are interested in pub uh, publishing anything sustainability related, um, you know, written or, or artwork, um, Gaia is a place to go to check that out or to submit. All right, so here are some pictures um, from the trash audit we did la a few weeks ago. Uh, one of these pictures is uh, out of the compost, and, or sorry, one of these pictures is out of the recycling and one of these pictures is out of the trash. You will note that both pictures have trash and compost and recycling. Trash, compost, and recycling. Um, so those cleaners brought out all of the, the trash and recycling from the student center um, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. So that's basically all of the academic day. Um, and uh, the sustainability board and I sorted out all the different things within there. So um, you'll notice as there is trash in, in both piles, there's actually trash in all of the recycling um, bins in the student center on that day. So if we hadn't sorted out the trash and recycling on that day, all the things that were in the recycling bins would have gone to the trash uh, because the cleaners don't have time uh, and it is not their job to sort out the recycling from the trash in the recycle bins. That's our job um, as community members. So we need to make sure that we're doing a good job of putting only recycling uh, in the recycle bins. Um, and you can see that there, you know, within those recycling piles, there is plastic, there's aluminum cans, and there's paper. So all of those things can go in that recycle bin, uh, but make sure you're putting only those things and not trash or compost um, in the recycling. Uh, and we did find also a couple full bottles in there. So uh, make sure if you are intending to recycle a bottle that you empty it first. So there are bottle filling stations um, throughout the student center. So just make sure you pour out the contents before you recycle it. Um, all right, so then on our Instagram page, there is a, um, a poll that you can do um, to try to figure out which of these piles is actually trash and which of these is recycling. So feel free to go follow us. Um, our username is Sustangs um, and for the sustainability at Milton Instagram. All right, so here is the actual results of the um, of the trash and recycling audit. Um, so it looks, it's about even, a third of it is recycling, a third of it is trash, and a third of it is compost. So um, if we were, if this were a day that nobody was sorting, again, all of that would go to the trash. Um, if we actually did a good job of sorting and sorted it all appropriately, um, we would only have about a third of the trash um, going to the trash. We'd have two thirds of that actually being either recycled or composted. So there's actually not as much trash that we could be, that we have um, as we might think. So if we do a good job sorting, we can actually save a lot of um, items from going to the trash. Um, and by the trash, I mean, a dump, right? Um, a landfill. So we can save that from happening if we do a good job of sorting. So uh, to try to encourage that, um, when in, and obviously when in doubt, throw it out. So if you don't know if it's recyclable, um, 
you know, put it in the garbage. Um, but let's make sure to keep those recycling bins pristine with only recyclables. So to that end, uh, here is what the recycle bins look like in the student center and across campus. Uh, these are called slim gins, um, the rectangular bins. Um, they might also be gray. If they're gray, they have this blue top. Uh, in the classrooms, it's usually a blue um, bin. So blue is our color for recyclables. Uh, we've been over what is recyclable, but in case you forgot, metal items such as like aluminum cans, things of that nature, glass bottles. You'll see glass bottles sold in the um, bookstore. Uh, the bookstore actually does make sure to buy um, things in aluminum or glass um, whenever possible and not single-use plastics because as apply, implied in the name, uh, single-use plastics are only for one use um, and when you recycle them they actually downgrade so you they don't tradition they don't become plastic bottles again whereas metal and glass can both when you recycle them become actually those items again um, so plastic is not as good um, because we have to create whole new streams to actually recycle them uh, and then also paper and cardboard and so that could be magazines as well as just printer paper um, and cardboard boxes just please make sure you empty and flatten them first before putting them in the recycling these are what the trash barrels look like. They're those big round barrels. You'll see those all around campus. And then the classrooms are often gray. So blue is our recycling color, gray is our trash color. And green is our compost color. So there is a bin that looks very similar to this in the snack bar. Um, that is where you can put any compostable items you have in the student center. So that could be you know, leftover food. So we did find a whole sandwich that had only one bite out of it um, in the trash. So I hope that person was not hungry that day. Um, but also the uh, silverware from the dining hall that has that little hole in it. That silverware is also compostable. Um, the silverware that is not compostable is the silverware that comes in that plastic, little plastic bag with the napkin and the salt and pepper. Those pieces of silverware are not compostable, so those do need to go to the trash. But um, napkins, bowls, and um, cups can also go in those locations. The cups, just to make sure that you read them, they should say compostable um, on the cup. Uh, and a lot of the plastic cups that the dining hall uses are actually compostable. Um, and the cups that the snack bar uses, those paper ones, um, those ones are also compostable. So just read the cup before you put it in the compost, um, but do look for those words because it is often there. Uh, there are also bins that are a little bit harder to distinguish in Forbes. Um, those ones are labeled. Um, Elliott and Goodwin and Hathaway also have, have bins as well as the junior building for composting. Um, at our meals, um, our as you heard, our dining hall staff is understaffed currently, um, so they are doing their best um, to help us eat food, essentially. Um, so we need to also help them um, with the cleaning process so that they can spend more time um, doing more meaningful work. Um, so in when we're composting at meals, compostables can stay in that green, green clamshell. Um, anything that is trash needs to then be put in the trash barrel. So those barrels out under the tent are actually all trash barrels. They are not compost. Um, none of that goes to the compost. The cleaners are instructed to take that to the trash. So um, leave all your compostables, all your extra food, uh, napkins in that clamshell, but do please do take out all the trash and put those in the bin. Um, the, the less time that our cleaning our um, dining staff has to spend sorting that out, the better. So if we can please make sure that we're sorting out the trash so that when the dining staff gets those clamshells, they can just empty all the compost um, and put the, the clamshell through the cleaning process. Um, and then please make sure that your forks and things like that all go um, in that um, collection bin, but not in the clamshell so that they don't have to sort that out as well. So your uh, assistance in that would be greatly appreciated. Um, all right, so then on to the water issue. So bottled water, um, versus tap water. Tap water um, and bottled water are actually uh, regulated by different um, regulatory bodies. Um, so uh, bottled water doesn't have to have, go have all the restrictions that um, tap water does. Um, and Milton's tap water has a very high quality. So you can read if you want to, I think at the end of this slide, um, or at this slideshow is, um, is a link for the Massachusetts Water Authority's report on the water. Um, so it is classified as very high quality. So it's excellent water to be drinking. I know some of us are coming from um, different states or different countries where tap water is not potable, but here in the United States and in Milton and Pacific, our, our tap water is actually quite good. Um, so please use reusable water bottles um, to drink that water. Um, but just a couple of notes about bottled water. It is often just tap water coming from a different place. 
um, and it requires three liters of water. You'll see different numbers, so approximately three liters of water uh, to make one liter of bottled water. Um, and there aren't quite as many regulations or different regulations on it, so you know customers don't have to be notified um, if the water source detects, uh, detects contaminants um, or where the water is coming from or what their um, purification procedure is. If you want any of that information, you can go to the, uh, for our water, um, the, our tap water, the Massachusetts Water Authority can actually, actually has like a whole report that shares all of that with you. Um, so where does our water come from? Our water comes from the Quabbin Reservoir, uh, which you can see over here, and it goes through the watershed. So a watershed is like a natural filtration system. The plants, the rocks, the um, sediment, all that stuff works to actually filter out the water and clean it um, after the water, the like, rain or the snowfall has melted into in the reservoir itself it goes through that watershed and actually gets filtered naturally um and it spends about i think it's about 80 days within the watershed before it goes into our um, water system uh and the treatment plant as is another place where the water gets filtered and, and treated uh to to remove any um microbes and things like that that might be in the water uh and then from there, it goes in the pipes that actually goes to your house, you know, maybe in, in various different um, aqueducts and reservoirs or tanks rather um, along the way. Um, and within that system, the Massachusetts Water Authority tests um, at hundreds of points throughout the, each day um, that they're testing the water all along that system to make sure that there isn't anything contamin any contaminants in there. Um, so here are some of the major pieces of results that people are often very concerned about. Um, lead, for example, so the, the lead tests of the, over the past few years, um, the lead is at a low enough level that it's not concerning uh, and has been for some time. Um, and then there's some other different compounds that they test for, uh, and you can see the highest allowable level and what was detected in our water sources, uh, which is well below um, the limit um, of any of those. So the water here is safe and drinkable. Um, and again, if you want to check out the results, you can do that at that link. All right, so um, all that to say, please use a reusable water bottle where you can, um, whenever you can, and use those refilling stations. Um, Milton has also um, ensured that there aren't any, there isn't any lead pipes um, or lead contaminant along the pipes in our, in the school or within the school. Um, and those refilling stations also filter. So not only are we getting the natural filter of the watershed um, and the treatment of the water facility, but we're also getting filtration um, and testing on campus as well. So please make sure to use reusable water bottles um, instead of single use water bottles. Um, or if you have to buy a, a single use water bottle because you forgot yours at home, um, just make sure to reuse that one several times. Um, we do traditionally give um, out water bottles at the beginning of the year and with the supply chain issues we actually have like still have not been able to get the supplies in for that um so when they come they will come um and i'll pass those out um but we're just waiting for nalgene to send us the right tops so um i hope you all have a lovely day thank you for listening <laughs>